Hi friends, welcome again to Intellect Medigos, where learning is made easy. I am Dr. Chirag Madan, working as an intensivist at Apollo Hospital, New Delhi. So today we will discuss about different types of IV cannulas. First of all, before proceeding, we should be knowing about the indications. First, to take out the blood sample. Second, to administer fluids. Third, to administer drugs or medicines to a patient. Fourth, to give parenteral nutrition. And fifth, before a surgery, obviously to give medication to a patient. So these are the basic indications where we put IV cannula to inside a patient. Okay, there are various types. Uh, starting from 14 gauge, it goes till 26 gauge. And the more the gauge is, the less is the outer diameter and the less is the flow rate. So the gauge is inversely proportional to the outer diameter as well as to the flow rate. Now, uh, there are four things which we uh, talk about whenever we are dealing with some kind of cannulas. First is obviously the gauge, depending on the color. Second is the outer diameter. Third is the length. And fourth is the flow rate. So now starting with the first one, as you can see over here, this is a orange cap. So this orange cap suggests 14 gauge cannula having an outer diameter of 2 mm with a length of 45 mm and flow rate of 270 ml per minute. As you can see over here, over here, all the four things mentioned at the back. Now coming on to the next one. This is a grey cannula. As you can see over here, the cap is grey colored, having a 16 gauge with an outer diameter of 1.8 mm, length of 45 mm, and flow rate of 236 ml per minute, as documented over here on this cannula. The four things, okay? Uh, but these flow rates they vary depending on the company otherwise you just need to remember 270 or the maximum flow rate is of orange cannula that is 14 gauge around 250 or 270 ml per minute then comes 220 ml per minute or 230 ml per minute that is a gray cannula 16 gauge now there is a, another cannula which comes with a color cap color of white although we don't usually use these in our hospital and it is not easily available but still we should be knowing this all because of our MCQs right so uh, 17 gauge cannula is white colored having a, a length of 45 mm same with a diameter of 1.5 mm and a flow rate is 200 ml per minute now coming on to our next this is a green cannula as you can see over here the cap is green colored with a 18 gauge and outer diameter as 1.3 mm length is again 45 mm and the flow rate mentioned is 103 ml per minute as you can see over here so these cannulas are called as wide bore cannulas because the outer diameter is wide and these are used in cases of massive blood transfusion or in cases of trauma where you need to give a rush of fluids. So in these kind of situation, we prefer to have wide bore cannulas starting from 14 gauge, 16 gauge, 17 gauge and 18 gauge. So these are the wide bore cannulas. Okay. Now coming on to our next one. This is a pink cannula having a color cap as pink colored with a 20 gauge and outer diameter as 1.1 mm with the length the length of this cannula is shorter it is 32 mm prior to this all were 45 mm and having a flow rate mentioned as 67 ml per minute as you can see over here okay so coming on to our next this is a blue cannula having a cap of blue color with 22 gauge and outer diameter as 0.9 mm length is further reduced to 25 mm so initially we started with the 45 mm as an outer diameter then over here 
we have 32 mm the pink canola then this blue canola has a length of 25 mm and a flow rate is documented as 42 ml per minute as you can see over here now coming on to the next one as you can see this is a very short cannula this is 24 gauge yellow colored having an outer diameter as 0.7 mm the length is further reduced to 19 mm and the flow rate is just 13 ml per minute so this is a cannula which is used in pediatric age group as you can see over here further after this there is one more cannula which i don't have right now which is a purple color that is 26 gauge and the flow rate from that cannula is just 10 to 12 ml per minute so these are the various kind of cannulas which we use in our hospital setup in day to day practice for an adult starting from 14 gauge to maximum of 22 gauge and 24 to 26 gauge is normally used for a pediatric population now the headache is how to remember all these all these cannulas so there is a very good diagram to memorize to remember all these gauges with a color code so here is that diagram so starting from below you can see over here there is a orange color lava so this suggests 14 gauge on top of it there is gray color soil which suggests 16 gauge then coming over and above is white gauge obviously you see white color over here so this is this is a 17 gauge then there is a stem or the grass which is green colored over the top of it there is a pink color flower which suggests 20 gauge then there is a blue sky which suggests 22 gauge and then above it is 24 gauge that is the yellow sun so this is just a diagram to memorize to remember all the gauges with a color so now again to memorize the flow rates of different cannulas just remember the maximum is orange color as 250 250 ml per minute then reduce it to 225 ml per minute for a gray for a white remember it as further 200 so 250 225 200 now the green reduce it to further half 100 ml per minute then is the pink reduce it to 60 ml per minute then is your blue reduce it to 40 ml per minute then is your yellow cannula reduce it to 20 ml per minute and then the last is purple that is 10 ml per minute so starting with 250 ml per minute then 225 ml per minute then 200 then reduce it to half 100 ml per minute then 60 40 20 and 10 so these are the flow rates so this is how you remember all the flow rates from the different cannulas so this is all about the different types of iv cannulas i hope you like this video uh, do leave a comment if you have any kind of doubt and i'll be really happy to help you out so if you like this video do hit the like button and share with your friends and colleagues and do not forget to subscribe the channel intellect medicos for regular updates of my new videos. Thank you so much guys for watching this video. Bye bye. Take care.